Hello, craft fairies. Thank you for joining me. This is the Carte Noir Paper Crafting Kit from Anna Griffin, and it is beautiful. So it comes with 24 12 by 12 sheets, um, 24 5 by 7 sheets, 90 embellishments, and 24 sentiments. So we are going to make a cute project with this today. So let me just give you a quick look at it. If you have not experienced Carte Noir, there are plenty of Carte Noir products from um, Anna Griffin, and I'm telling you, they're all wonderful. So this is sentiments there for different occasions. I see birthday, I see thinking of you, sending love. We have all of these precious florals here in my favorite color, pink, different shades of pink. There's some la uh, lavender colors, some light blue. And then here is the cardstock. So you're getting um, what you're getting in five by seven. You are also getting in 12 by 12. So um, you have your 12 by 12 for your bigger projects and your five by seven for your smaller projects and your cards. So you're getting two of each in each size. How pretty is that? Oh my God, that like almost took my breath away. This is just beautiful. So carte noir means black card. Um, I think it's French. Don't laugh at me if it's not. Maybe, I don't know. Is it French? I don't know. How pretty is that? It might not be French. What is it? Is it Italian? I don't know. Somebody help me. So how pretty is all of this? Oh my God. I love it. This page right here is like one of my favorites. They're all my favorite, but this one I love so much. And then here's this has where it has the like kind of like um a washed out blue and then this and this one and then here and you get the same here in the 12 by 12 which i don't need to show you so today we are going to make a journal it is super easy i'm gonna show you so follow along all right so for this easy journal all you're going to need is some scissors a paper trimmer, um, a scoreboard. This has a scoring tool on it as well as the trimmer. And you will need some ribbon, some twine, some elastic, um, and you will need paper, of course, and you will need some glue. And if you have a hole puncher or a crocodile, um, the hole puncher you can get from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. cents. So it's that easy. Most of you guys should already have that. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is from your collection, I want you to choose three sheets of 12 by 12. So whatever you want. So I'm just gonna gather mine. Sorry, I'm just cutting that here. So let's see. So um, let's see. Leia, no, please. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to take probably this one. And I'm going to take. It's beautiful. It's so hard to choose. I'm going to probably take this one. And then. Um, oh, so many. That gold is like calling my name. Oh, God, I love this. Okay, so I'm gonna take that one. So I'm gonna take these. You don't have to use the ones that I use. This one is kind of semi, excuse me, similar. Let me pick another one. All right, so I'm gonna do this one, this one, and I guess I'll do that one right there. Okay. So those are my three for now. And we'll come back to some more paper. So, so for right now, you're going to take the three. And what you're going to do is you are going to take your trimmer, um, your um, paper cutter, whatever it is that you use to trim down your paper. You want to cut these down in half. So you want to, instead of it being 12 by 12, we're now going to cut it at at six so cut it in half pretty much that's all you have to do cut it in half so now it is a six by twelve so cut it in half you're gonna cut um all three just like that 
So just cut all three sheets in half. Super simple. And you decide as far as your uh, patterns, you know, how you want that. But it doesn't matter to me because they're just florals. And I know they do go in a certain direction, but it's not a crime. All right, so all of those are cut in half. So then now what you're going to do is you are going to take one of each of the different designs. So you now have two of each. But take one of each of the different designs. I have one, two, three the other to the side because we're going to come back to that so you can use your um scoring scoreboard scoring tool whatever you use to score your paper i am just going to fold it in half okay i just kind of want to make this as easy as possible so just fold the three selections that you took out just fold them all in half and make sure you give it a good you know crease it very nicely okay so yeah, I'm just trying to make this easy without using so much tools and this and that. So you don't need to score it. It's still beautiful. So just fold it in half. And this one. Fold it right in half. So this is going to finish um, as a 6x6 six six journal. And I figured instead of making a card, let's make something because it is a paper kit. Uh, we have card kits for Cart Noir if you're interested. So you got all three. So now you're going to take them and um, you're going to take one, open it up. So you pick whichever size you want to use. Take two, open it up. And then we're going to take three and open it up. So we're going to put them all inside of each other. Okay. So then now what you're going to do is in the center, you want to go ahead and take your hole puncher or your crop dial. Um, I have a crop of dial. You can use a hole puncher. I'm going to show you. Um, this is what you get. I've had this for a little while, but they, they sell these at the at the Dollar Tree. So you could take this or the crop of dial. And I'm just going to take the hole puncher because, like I said, I just want it to be easy for you. So what you're going to do is go down. As far as the hole puncher will let you and you're going to put a hole try to get it in the center of your score line so pretty much where the fold is okay so if you can see that's the crease so go ahead and put it in the crease and then just hold it together and go down to the bottom and do the same thing now this is we know that anna has like the best cardstock ever so you will have to use a little man power and squeeze okay so there we go. So you have two holes there. Easy, right? Okay, next, go ahead and take some ribbon or um, some twine. I am going to use some, I guess I'll use uh, twine. So I'm gonna take some twine. Um, I have this twine here that I got from uh, Michael's. It was part of the Valentine's. And you, you know, you use whatever color. If you wanna use ribbon, use ribbon. So I think I'm gonna use this, it's like a rose gold color. Well, not rose, I don't know. It's not gold, it has silver. So I'm gonna use that color. So um, what you wanna take is you want enough. So I'm just keeping it on here until I get what I need. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna go through the back right there and then you're gonna take the second the bottom piece and go ahead just make sure you have enough where you can tie okay so here's the second piece and i'm gonna push it through the hole here at the back and you could do it the opposite way meaning you can bring the strings where they go inward okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and lay that flat i have it lined up let me line it up and if the string is too big for you or your twine is too big all you have to do is just cut it when you're done just make sure you leave enough space to give this a tie so i'm just tying it like you would tie your shoe and then i'm just going to try to hold that down because i want to tie it again um so because this does get loose um you know it's not elastic twine so 
All right, so there we go. So I just created a knot. And then what you can do here is add some charms or just go ahead and cut um, what you don't want to use, okay? For now, I'll leave it. So there we go, look at that, an easy little book binding, okay? Now let's move on. For the next step, what you want to do is to take, um, you know, we have, we have three remainder sheets of the six by 12. So just pick one, any one, it doesn't matter. And what you're going to do is take it, get your scissors or your trimmer, whatever you use to cut your paper. So now we have it, the six by 12. You want to turn it along the 12 inch side so the see that the shorter side the longer side you want to line it up and you just want to line it up at six inches so like we did it um with the larger sheet we're just cutting it in half again so now instead of a six by 12 it now becomes two six by six sheets okay got it all right so now take it again and you can even Take your scissors and do this. You can um, use a ruler if you like. Um, it's totally up to you. But all I'm gonna do is just like turn this into like the shape of like a diamond. I'm just lining it up on my trimmer. And pretty much all I'm doing is just cutting this in half, but in the diamond shape, okay? Does that make sense? See how I got it? And then just trim it in half. Now, it may not be accurate, like that's not all that pointed, but it's okay. That's why you can use your ruler <laughs> and a pencil and then cut it. All right, so we got that. So now, what are we gonna do with these, princess? So you're gonna take it, and what you're gonna do is open up your first page, and you're gonna take one of them, and we're gonna make this a pocket, okay? Got it? So now I'm gonna use some glue for that. Okay, so you pick whichever side you want to be visible or seen or whatever. So I'm gonna take that and then this is how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna put glue only. Come out, come out, wherever you are. We're only gonna put glue at the side of it and then again at the base of it. So this is the side that's gonna be glued down. See that? Don't put any here. So then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna line it up to my card or my page and I'm just gonna lay it down. So just make sure you have it lined up, give it some pressure on the sides and then when it's dry, you got your tuck pocket. Okay, awesome, yay. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead, flip another page, flip another page we're going to go to the second half of our um, journal because the first half, you know, is divided by the, the twine that you can see here. So I'm going to go to the second to the last page and I'm going to put the remaining uh, piece that we cut out. So the other pocket right here. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to put the pocket there. OK, and you can pick whichever side you want. Um, it looks nice both ways because this matches up with that side or then you got this pretty medallion pink then this medallion gold that is beautiful but I think I'm gonna do it like that so then remember you're gonna put it the glue on the side and at the bottom and turn it around line it up to your page and you have your other pocket. Easy, right? And you're like, oh, what are we gonna do with this? Fill it up with stuff, put some pictures in it, put some um, blank cards in it, you know, put some um, some tea bag, I don't know, whatever you want. Just make it a nice little gift for your friend, something for them to have. And now let's go ahead and move on. So, now what we're going to do is we are going to make two other um, pockets, but a different style. So you had that other six by six sh uh, sheet. I don't want to use that again. So I'm going to take, we still have these two left. So I'm going to take one of these and I'm probably going to take um, this one here. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna do the same thing 
that we just did. We're just gonna cut this in half, okay? So now those this sheet will also become two six by six sheets when we cut it in half. I'm just gonna line it up at six, cut it in half, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and actually I still need my scoreboard, sorry. So now that we cut that into uh, two six by six, I'm gonna take, sorry, I'm gonna take it and we're now gonna make this a six, six inches, but we're gonna go ahead and cut off three inches. So now it'll become a six by three. See that? So we took that six by six and cut that also in half. Only one of them, not both, only one. So just put that to the side. So then now what you need to do is you need to pick which side you want to be your front pocket. This is gonna make two pockets. So I'm gonna turn one this way and one this way. So this is gonna be one of my fronts and this is gonna be another one of my fronts. So what you need to do is go along the three inch side and you're gonna score. Remember, I have a little scoring tool on here already as well. You're gonna score at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. Okay. And then we're also going to score at, turn along the, to the six, six inch side and we're going to score at five and three quarters. And then we're gonna turn it around. Just look at what I'm doing, just turn it around and we're gonna score it again at five, sorry for shaking the camera, and three quarters. So then now what we're going to do is we are going to trim off. So I'm gonna take some scissors and we're just gonna trim off at an angle, the bottom, not the top. We're gonna to trim at the bottom where we put the score line. You can see the score line right there. And you're just gonna trim at an angle. And then now we're gonna go ahead and fold our score lines. Okay, got it. And then now we're gonna put some adhesive and this becomes a pocket. See that? So then we put some adhesive and we made a pocket. So you're gonna do the same thing to this one. So before I glue that on, let me do the same to this one. So again, along the six inch side, we're gonna score at five and three quarters. Turn it around and score at five and three quarters again and then doesn't matter which side up here or here you just need to pick a side and you're going to turn it the longer way and score at two and three quarters all right so then again you're going to clip off where we have the score line you're just going to clip at an angle and that just makes it easier to fold and for it to lay flat flatter okay so just fold your score lines and then here, hold your score line. All right, so let me move this out the way. So now you take your journal and you pick a page. I'm gonna go straight to the middle and I am going to place this right here. Actually, I'm gonna lay it, do I want it there? So you just, you do whatever works for you. But remember, we have that first page as a pocket, then we'll skip this page, we'll skip this page, and then we'll put a pocket right here in the middle, but I think I wanna put it on this side, this particular one. Yeah, I'm gonna put that right there. So I'm just gonna do that with some glue. So just get some glue on your side. You can use tape. Um, I'm just using glue and you're just gonna get some there. And then you're just gonna take it and you're going to place it on your page and be careful with the wet glue and you're just going to fold it down and let it get it adhered and you may have to hold it for a minute because it is like i said this is some awesome cardstock and it is not cheap paper so it's very thick so just kind of you know hold it until it dries All right, so then the next step is going to be, here's your other pocket. 
you want to also find another spot for that. And I think I'll put that right here. So up to you, wherever you want to put it. And again, I'm just using glue on those just here and then one here. Now, if you, you know, once you make this once or twice, it, I promise you it won't take as long as the video is. It's just that I would like to take my time to, you know, so people can maybe somebody's never made something like this before from, you know, scratch. And, you know, it's not a die set. We're, we're actually making this by measurements and cutting paper. So um, I apologize if the video is, you know, longer than my normal videos. Uh, but thank you for your patience. And I hope this helps someone. So there we go. So we have that now. And then now you have some blank pages. So you have four pages that have pockets and you have some blank pages. So for the, the final um, six by 12, I want you to take out your scoring tool and I want you to take it and along the 12 inch side, I want you to score at, so we're gonna line it up and we are going to score at um, 11. So we're gonna score at 11 and a half. So just line it up to 11 and a half and then score. So we're gonna get a half inch score here. Okay, so then I just want you to fold that, fold that. So what you're going to do is after you score that at 11 and a half, you're going to, um, if you fold it and open it back up and we're going to score now at five and three quarters. So I'm going to move it down and you're going to score at five and three quarters. So you have your other score line there and then we are done with the scoreboard. So, you can right, so now that you have it, you have your two score lines, fold in half. And then this one, you're gonna, depending on what side you want to use, you're gonna fold backwards the, the half inch um, where we score, fold that backwards, okay? And then we're just going to take that and we're going to put adhesive here and we're gonna lay this on top so it's like an open, like you're gonna open it like a book, okay? So go ahead and put your adhesive on that. And we're just gonna open it up. I have this open to the middle of the book and you're just gonna line it up and you're going to line it up to your page and lay it flat. Line it up and lay it flat. Okay. So it's like, yes, we created an extra page, but this page you're actually going to be able to like open and close in the book. Okay. And it is a little smaller than the six by six because we did score it. So now you have this extra little page to open. So it's like that. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? So now here's something else. So then also what you can do is remember we still had two six by sheets, two six by sheets, two six by six sheets left. So now what we're going to do is I am going to, you can either create another one of these pockets that we made, or if you just want it to be simple, what I'm going to kind of do is just cut it down a little bit. So I'm going to take it and instead of creating more pockets, I'm just going to cut it down a little bit more as a card layer. So this is now a six by six. I'm actually going to cut it down to a, um, that's my scoring. I'm going to actually cut it down to a five and then turn it around by five. So a five by five. Oh, did I do? I know. I think I did five and a half by five and a half. Five and a half by five and a half. You can do five by five if you like. So then you see that? And then now I'm just gonna lay that on top of this as a card layer. So, you know, or you can do it this way. I think I'm gonna do it this way since we covered up that gold before. So then you just put some glue around it, all over it, and you just place it wherever you like. So I'm gonna place it like right here. So just center it. And then now you have a card layer. So you see that? Look at that, yay, so pretty. 
And then you have this one as well. You can do the same and you can cover that here, put it here, whichever you want to do. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that down also to a uh, five and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to glue that one on this side. Isn't that pretty? So this is just another part layer. Or you could take that paper and you can go ahead and um, die cut it. You know, use one of your um, uh, dies and cut it out. So I'm just lining that up. And there we go. So there we go. Look at that. So the basics of this beautiful journal is complete. So now all you do is decorate. And you can even go, actually I should have put one of these on the inside of here since there's two of the same. Um, Is it too late? It might be too late. I don't wanna rip my paper. So anyways, to conquer that, I'll just decorate over top of it. And then if you don't like here, how you see where we put our hinge, you also could have taken one of those second uh, six by six sheets of paper instead of cutting it, just cover this up completely, okay? So that, um, I didn't pay attention to that, but that's okay. So now let's decorate and I may speed up for this. So just go through your stash, whatever it is that you have your Anna Griffin stash. Um, and obviously we have florals and sentiments in this um, kit. So what you wanna do is go ahead and start using some of these to embellish. And like I said, use your die cuts, um, stamps, whatever you got, and just fill your pockets and go ahead and create. Okay, so I just like grab some random things and just I'm going to go ahead and start to decorate this little cute journal and um, I'll probably speed it up because I know the video is already long. So I just grab a lot of Anna Griffin stuff and some things are not and I'm just going to decorate. So just watch. gonna go ahead and just stop there so um, like I said you can add some charms or some beads or something here I just wanted to give you an idea of just to kind of get you started and um, I'll probably finish it and add a few more things like this cute ribbon here you know so just go ahead and do whatever you know um, you you know get just be creative and like I said you could use um, your own papers whatever make this for any occasion um, I just decided to do it for the carton noir paper crafting kit so as you can see you don't have to cover up each page because you know someone may want to scrap put some pictures I was just throwing in some things that you know just I just had laying around quickly just to kind of finish it up um, just to kind of you know fill the page just to give you an idea of like how to decorate or 
you know what to do and like i said this could be used for journaling pictures you can add more stuff there you can send your friend some uh die cuts you know some embellishments so just you know it's just something cute like i said it's a paper crafting kit i didn't want to just use it to make cards because we already have card kits for carte noir so anyways thank you so much for joining me i hope you found this helpful and i know it is a fat book and you know you can even take you know cut a longer piece like this if you want and um you know tie it the way we did originally but just make sure you cut it extra long and if it bothers you you just take one of each side i think mine is too short but as you're making your binding cut it extra long and you can just tie the book in a bow there for your recipient um that looks nice too just make sure you when you're binding this you cut some extra long ribbon twine whatever it is that you're using so again thank you so much for joining me and um uh, where did this come from right there <laughs> so thumbs up carte noir bye